Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for Game Week 19 for the 5% series. For those of you that are following it, you just copy these instructions with your own choices and hopefully you're finishing the top 5%. We we'll start by looking at Game Week 18 which is just finished and then we we'll look forward to Game Week 19. First off the bankers, all the teams have these four players. Ward, Bueno, Andreas and Haaland. The first three started on the bench. Haaland got six points, but he was our captain. So Haaland got us 12 points, which is OK. A little bit disappointing for him, but he did get booked. Uh, maybe he'd do better next week against Chelsea, I think it is. The goalkeeper, you'd have had one of Edison, Pope, Ramsdale, Kepa. And their average score was 3.3. For the defenders, you'd have had one of Cancelo, Trent or Robertson. Cancelo didn't play at all. No minutes. Don't know what's going on with Cancelo there. Uh, we we'll give him another week or two, see if we can work out what's going on, see if there's some news. Trent got eight. Robertson got two. But because Cancelo played no minutes, then he was replaced by the first person on your bench, which would have been Andreas, who would have got you five points. So you'd have averaged five points with the first choice defender, albeit they may not have been a defender. You'd have had three of these defenders, Trippier, James, Walker, Gabriel, Shaw, Dallow, White and Castagne. Trippier got eight, James didn't play, Walker didn't play, Gabriel got zero, Shaw got nine, Dallow didn't play, White got one, Castagne got one. So we have three here that didn't play. So a couple of players could have come off your bench, maybe one, maybe zero. So I've, I've done kind of an average, looked at teams that I know that are following this. And I'm saying that Andreas would have come on, but if you already had him come on, then of course Bueno would have come on. I think this is a good enough approximation for what your three defenders would have got. So... You got an average of 12.9 for these three. It would have been nice to get 15, but it was a low scoring week across the board. So it's OK that we were low scoring this week. You would have had one of Salah, De Bruyne, Son, Fernandez, Sterling. They scored 2, 1, 2, 6, 9. So De Bruyne and Son have been consistently poor <laughs> since the restart. So we may have to look at what we're going to do with those. However... They've both got double game weeks coming up, so we need to keep them for now. Maybe they're going to get some good points then. So they these average four points between, or whichever one you had, you got an average of four points here. You'd have had one of Foden, Saka, Mount, or Trossard. They scored one six two one. 2 one so These were very poor, an average of two and a half. You'd have had one of Barnes, Martinelli, Rashford, Odegaard, Almiron. They scored 2, 10, 5, 13, 3, so an average of 6.6. It's all right, it's quite good. You'd have had one of Kane, Darwin or Tony. They scored 2, 5 and 12, so the average there was 6.3. And you'd have had one of Mitrovic, Martial, Solanke. Mitrovic managed to do nothing apart from miss a penalty, so he got zero points. Martial got two, Solanke got one. So that was an average of one. So that was pretty poor. But like I said, it was below average across the board for everyone. So that was, it's okay. We're doing all right here. So I've put a global of average of 53. The site's not been updated yet. So I don't know the actual average. But having a look through at numbers, I think 53 is around what the global average is going to be. The worst you would have done if you were following the system was 24 points. The average was 53.6, which is just above the global average. And this wasn't fixed. <laughs> that is really what I reckoned it to be. And the maximum was 91 points if you happen to have the best that you could have picked from all of this. And I got <laughs> this channel has 345 subscribers. If you like this sort of thing, thank you very much. Please do subscribe. So game week 19 transfers. If you have one of these defenders, Walker, James, Dallow, then I'm suggesting you get rid of them. If you have two of these and you have a spare transfer, do two. But if you've only got one spare transfer and you've got more than one of these, then I'd say Walker's your priority, then James, then Dallow. But I don't suppose any of you have got more than two of these, or even two of these. But anyway, if you've got 
one or two of these and you can afford the transfers move them on and replace them with one of these trippier gabrielle akanji he's new to our system shaw white castagna or luca dean who's also new to our system and looking at the teams that i'm aware that are following this system you can all do this fine so we're still okay by the way if you are following this and you don't know that I know that you're following this and you don't mind me knowing about it, please do leave a comment with maybe your team ID in it or your team name and I'll see if I can look at your team. That'd be very interesting for me. Right, your bench. Each week we just need to set the bench order and the 11, other 11 players sort themselves out. So you want to put Ward on your bench. Positions 3 and 2 on the bench, which are to the right as you look at it. Position 3, whichever one of these you, you've got, goes in position three the next one you have we're going to position position two so the far right would be somerville then bueno then bailey then billing so you're all going to have two of these and then the th first place on the bench because fulham have got a double game week we want to play andreas if we possibly can which means we have to put somebody on our bench who's a good player so solanke if you've got him put him on your bench in the number one position if you don't have him but you have Castagne put him on your bench if you have neither of those but Foden put him on your bench if you have none of those but White he goes on your bench if you have none of those but Gabriel put him on your bench if you have none of those but Trossard put him on your bench if you have none of those but you have Barnes put him on your bench if you have none of those but Almiron put him on your bench if you have none of those players then you put Andreas on your bench but Andreas has got two games, so he's got two shots at getting bonus points, two chances of getting an assist or maybe a goal. So we want to play Andreas if we can. Captain, had have a long, hard think about this, but given Haaland is still going to be the most captained, I think, I really think you should make Haaland the captain. I'm almost certainly going to make Haaland my captain. Mitrovic is predicted to get the most points but he is on four yellows and he could get a yellow in his first game and miss the second game. It's really tough call and Haaland can score anywhere against anyone and even if Haaland does poorly and you've got him as your captain he's still going to be the most captain so it means loads of teams are going to do bad. So my recommendation is you have Haaland as captain. Regarding the vice captain if you have Mitrovic, he should be your vice captain. If you don't have him, but you have Salah, make him your vice captain. If you have neither of those, but you have Kane, make Kane your vice captain. If you have none of those, but you do have Darwin, make him your vice captain. And finally, and probably for the last time, if things go against him, if you have Tony, then make him your vice captain. There's a reasonable chance Tony's going to get banned after this next game, and he may be injured anyway. Uh, but he may be all right. We need to see what happened with that. And there we have it. That's the guidelines for game week 19. Hopefully you've done all right. The people that I know that are following this, there are four teams I know that are following this now. And they all got above the average. And they're all either in the top 5% or pushing towards the top 5%. So they're all doing okay. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.